Welcome Gemini to your July reading, Messages from Your Ancestors. We're going to go ahead and see all the messages your ancestors have for you at this time. Just remember if the messages that come through do not resonate with you, not to worry. It just means that this is not meant to be your reading at this time. And you can go ahead and have a look at your moon rising and venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you so i'm just going to pull all the oracle cards and then we're going to clarify with the tarot right so let's start off with the first card that we get is awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being and integration okay so there is definitely something happening here you can some kind of an awakening there is a new way of a being i think this is happening for a lot a lot of signs uh, and that completely makes sense with everything that we have been through over these past few years. Um, and this, we've got this huge, beautiful supermoon, this buck supermoon coming in on the 13th of July. There is going to be a lot of awakenings, a lot of energetic upgrades, and things are going to really start shifting and changing for a lot of us. Let's see what this is referring to, especially for you. We've got the Two of Pentacles, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, and we've got the Three of Pentacles. So we've got here the Two and Three of Pentacles, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Right, so this tells me that there has just been a period for you where you have been going back and forth about, on something. It could be um, an idea that you had, it could be a decision you needed to make, but it's, it also could have been that there's been a lot going on in your life and you've been juggling a lot. But this is just like not a, an easy energy, it's like um, up, down, up, down, you know, like chasing your tail. It's a bit of like a hamster on the wheel energy. And the nice thing that's become it's coming in with this awakening is that with all this back and forward and back and forward energy, you're going to get a very clear idea in terms of what you want to do and go forward to with and build at this time. With this awakening and this energetic upgrade, you're going to understand that there is something definite you want to build. You want something solid. So this could be in any area of your life. Gemini, take it as it resonates. Just for example, if it's looking for, a, if you're wanting to um, start um, a new career, a new job, okay? And perhaps you were just like going back and forth and how to do it, where to do it, um, which companies to, to contact, over this period, this uh, this awakening period, something uh, strikes you that you you it becomes very clear what kind of job you want, what kind of company you want to work for, and you start now with the Knight of Pentacles. Over this period, your ancestors are telling you this is the time now. The the the, the fields are ready. You can start dropping, planting your seeds, dropping your Pentacles, and start reaching out, making contact, but there's going to be a very clear idea of what you want and how you're going to go about getting it, which is very, very nice. Then we've got this um, balance card coming in with the divine teacher. So let's see what that is referring to for you. What is this balance card referring to for our Geminis? We've got the page of swords. And we've got the three of cups coming in. Okay, I like this. There is definitely a big, um, a big message here, um, my my lovely Gemini's of finding balance. Like we when when we had the two of pentacles here, going back and forth, back and forth, not knowing what to do, hamster on the wheel. Your ancestors are coming in over this period, Gemini's balance is going to be restored into most areas of your life and what I love here can you see we've got two people here one with a heart and one with a present is when, it, when we've got balance even in your relationships which is a big thing okay balance is being restored so if ever there was something that felt like you were doing more of the giving and someone was doing more of the taking over this period balance is going to be restored okay so once again it's telling you with with the the page of swords you might have been a little bit all over the place in terms of trying to 
find or get what you wanted okay but with this new awakening coming 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 in this balance starts coming in you're not you, you're you see here she's just like on her, on her tiptoes she's not really on stable ground you find your way onto a sta stable ground and you're going to have reason to celebrate i love that because it tells us that with this awakening with this rebalancing happening here you're going to feel this something comes in that there's a reason to celebrate so what it is it's it's maybe that you you get a clear answer a clear understanding or maybe something definite comes in okay within terms of this give and take that causes a reason to celebrate then we've got this unlikely card so this is going to be interesting so let's go ahead and see what is unlikely over this period for you gemini's what is unlikely the lovers and the nine of wands okay i like this it, this the lovers here is representing a choice and it's telling you so nicely so clearly that it is very unlikely over this time that you 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 know we had we, we had this decision coming in here it's very unlikely that you will make the wrong decision it's very very unlikely whatever you choose to do and the direction you choose to go in you don't have to be worried you don't have to be nervous or cautious it's very unlikely over this time that you will make the wrong decision what comes through will be clear in terms of what you want to build and what you want to grow in terms of your uh, your future life and your future paths and this uh, this feeling of not being on stable ground of going back and forth with these two cards don't worry about it it's very unlikely you will make the wrong decision then we've got the card get grounded empaths high sensitives connect with nature okay so let's have a look what that is referring to okay so this is obviously for a lot of our, De our gemini's who are very um uh, who are emp empathetic and light workers okay so messages just additional messages coming through for you right we've got the fool and we've got the king of cups okay so this is this message is not for everybody it's for those gemini's who are very very um highly attuned very very sensitive light workers empaths okay this is a time really not to take any unnecessary risks it's just a time to get grounded you want to be on your your feet to be we also had this on with our page of sorts here you want to be on solid ground this is a time to really get connected as you can see here get connected be in tune with yourself with your emotions with source this is not a time to start um taking careless risks okay because this is really a time where you need to look after yourself and you may have to ensure that you are grounded and connected so that any of, the, of these um energetic upgrades comes through that are integrated in the best possible way right that looks very very good let's go ahead and get an additional message for you right now my lovely Gemini's let's see what else we can we can get coming through from your ancestors we've got commitment we've got peace and we've got home wow that's really really nice so guys this is very very nice it's just also confirms for those of you who are um looking for a commitment or in a committed relationship this is a very very auspicious time and it's also telling you that there is a lot of peace and tranquility around your home at this time this could be that maybe perhaps in the past there might have been a little bit of a disruption could have been an argument or something like that anything to, uh, uh, like that around around the home or maybe there was just a little bit of insecurity regarding jobs and finances but there is peace coming in around your home so whatever that means to you so there you have it my dear gemini's i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and i'm sending you all lots of love